it's Tim. Oh, let me spell this gum. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Tiffany with Thrifty Tiffany and I am back with a Kroger haul. Y'all, I had to leave the house. We are definitely staying quarantined in the house, but I had to leave the house to go to the grocery store, just to go to the grocery store and come back. Um, I picked up some items that we needed. We were out of meat, so I had to pick them up really quick. The boys are bringing in the groceries for me now, but I wanted to share some of the items that Kroger actually still had. They're out of a lot, like a lot, a lot. But I wanted to show you guys some items that I have. Hey, will you put it up here so I can um, show them? I'll first we'll show you. I actually looked up and got some water. We got purified drinking water. Y'all, this is so heavy. It's 32 bottles. So I had to pick this up. Again, I have a cup, two gallons that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, I, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay y'all came in was putting stuff on the table and it fell but we're good i'm gonna clip that out um so i had to go pick up some meat so here are the meats they had no ground turkey no ground beef so i got chicken and this is uh chicken this one was for 466 but i just got several of these because i can make meals and i can cut these in half and make it last longer um and if I cook like casseroles or soups or one pot dishes, you can shred the chicken and make it go further. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got three of these, which have three breasts in each. Also grab this big thing of chicken thighs. I know a lot of meals in the Dutch oven I can cook with chicken thighs. Um, and these were only $4.71, so that was a good deal. So I picked, up, picked up that up, I can't talk. Also grab some tortilla chips. These are with a kick of lime. These are the Kroger brand. They're only like 99 cents right now. So Kaya loves these. They have a hint of lime and we have plenty of that salsa that I hauled from Dollar Tree. So that's good. Tacos. Well, I was going to do tacos, but they're out of ground turkey and ground beef. So I'm going to have to check a couple other stores or I'm going to have to make fajitas. So that would be a good, good idea. Um, I did pick up some of these Zia Italian. This is a new brand at Target. It hasn't been there too long, um, but this is a pack of the egg noodles. Most of their brand is really cheap, which is really good. They're like 99 cents, and the other noodles are like 73 cents. So I picked up these. You can make so much with this. You can make like a, um, a stroganoff or a cream type soup or chicken noodle soup. So these come in handy, and they go a long way, which is why I picked it up. I got some bananas. As you guys know, I made some uh, chocolate chunk banana bread, so I went through that. And so now I have more bananas. Um, I love bananas. And I got them kind of green, so they'll last longer. I did pick up some sweet onions. I got four. I already have a couple. I have like three onions, but I use onions in everything that I cook, so pick that up. I also grabbed... Here's some more of the Zia Italian. I got one pack of the spaghetti because of course we're gonna make some spaghetti or a spaghetti bake. And then I got the Zia Italian um, elbow macaroni. This elbow I use for any type of pasta dish, pasta dish, pasta salad, um, anything like that. So grab that. What else? I got several, they were almost out of all the ramen noodles. So I grabbed a couple that they had left, which is the chili flavor, which will, probably good be good I haven't tried it before but I got actually I thought I got there's four there's probably another one somewhere then I got I don't eat pork but I got them a pork one because this is literally all that's left all the big containers were gone so I got two of the pork and then I got one of the creamy chicken just so the kids can have that for lunchtime or late at night when they get hungry um, yeah here's another of the pork I also grabbed some good old Kraft macaroni and cheese. Y'all, this is so good. And I know y'all were laughing about when I told y'all I grew up on my mom cutting hot dogs up in these, but I bought some cheese sausages. Hold on, let me find it. The boys put the stuff everywhere over here, so let me see if I can find it. Cash, can you help me see if you can find the sausages? Here, this might be it. Sorry guys, hope it doesn't fall again. Yes, so you can make a packet of these like hot dog helper <laughs> and use some of the turkey cheddar uh, sausages. Yes, and this is uh, yeah turkey cheddar. So you can chop these up, saute them, and put them with mac and cheese. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all it's good. <laughs> 
So I grabbed those and I stocked up on some cheeses. Uh, not a lot, but I got mild cheddar shredded. I got mozzarella shredded. Um, that could be for spaghetti or chili or fajitas. Um, I got medium cheddar slices and I got Colby Jack slices for sandwiches. We are living off some sandwiches, grilled cheese, egg sandwiches, things like that for lunch. Also bought some of the Tyson chicken patties, basically like a mini chicken. Um, but I got some of these. We cook them in the air fryer and put them on buns or regular um, bread and it's good. So these chicken patties come in handy when you got teenagers in the house. Also picked up some French toast sticks for when I don't make pancakes or waffles. Um, Kaya loves French toast sticks. They have like cinnamon sugar on it. These are really good from Kroger. Um, really, really good. I grabbed some salted butter. We needed butter. I cook with it and bake with it. That's the thing. I'm going to be also y'all, I'm going to be trying to bake some bread. I picked up, um, some yeast, some fast acting yeast. So I can make some homemade bread. It's called Dutch oven bread. So I'll let, I will film that. So stay tuned for that. But I will be making some Dutch oven bread because I know in some places, uh, you can't find bread. And yeah, our hours was at a minimum. Um, so I got three packets of those so I can get creative with that. Or you can make homemade biscuits. Um, I got original cream cheese, always need that. Got some good old taco sauce for when I do find some ground meat because they're out. I grabbed some vanilla pudding. That's what I bought the bananas for. I'm gonna make a banana pudding. Cash had asked me for that. And I have the vanilla wafers from Dollar Tree plus this uh, instant vanilla pie pudding. Um, so I'm going to make some banana pudding. I got some cornbread, Jiffy cornbread mix. Two of these. I don't know where the other one is. Also got some of the chicken bouillon cubes. This is good to keep in the house for soups. And there's a lot in here. Um, so you can do soups or have broth for different things. Um, which it can go a long way. Let's see what I have not shown you guys. Um, here's the syrup. Oh my goodness, y'all. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm making a mess. Um, I got some good old syrup. Yep, syrup, not syrup. <laughs> we say syrup in this house. But um, pick that up. Also got some of the Zia Italian traditional pasta sauce for spaghetti or a pasta bake or what it, lasagna. Hey, I might do a lasagna if I can find some ground meat somewhere. And y'all know I had to pick up my hot, sweet, Snacker pickles y'all these are the bomb. They're so good if you like hot and sweet They're so good. What else? Oh, I grabbed some peppers so I can make stuffed peppers one night I got the orange the red and the yellow There's three of them, but we um, cut them in half or I might use the peppers for fajitas. So not sure um, So I got three of those and I got a packet of it all <laughs> So I grabbed pep uh, carrots uh, just to snack on like this with ranch or for soup or for baking or the crock pot, um, the Dutch oven, something like that. Let's see, what else did I get? Y'all got bags, bags, bags because I had to stock up. Don't know when we're gonna leave again. Had Cash said he wanted some of the Dorb's um, halos. These are so good, great for the kids to snack on while they're sitting around the house because everybody's bored and basically just bored eating. Um, and I got two of the cucumbers to eat, again, with ranch or a salad. And I got a thing of iceberg lettuce. They were out of romaine. They were out of almost all the stuff, all of it. Grab that. Got um, the kids' favorite pizzas, which are the Tostitos pizzas. They were a dollar each, so I grabbed them. I got pepperoni, supreme, triple pepperoni, and cheese in combination. Also, oh my goodness. I don't know if that just broke. How to get Kaya some um, gel? Nope, it didn't break. How to get Kaya some gel? She used Eco Styling Gel. Also picked up these, um, Cash, can you put this in the freezer for me? I picked up the original yeast rolls. These are the ones that I showed you guys that I cook on holidays, but I figure if they run out of bread, I will keep this because these make huge rolls. You, go, you put them up in your closet or somewhere um, high in your house, the highest point in your house or on top of a closet and let them rise. And these are so good. You can make sandwiches with them. You can, again, you can do so much. We love these. 
Definitely check these out. Can you put these in the freezer for they all stick together, please? Um, um, I did grab a little thing of flour. They were out of flour. So I got this little one, basically like the size Dollar Tree has. It was 99 cents. All-purpose flour because I am going to make some bread. I'm going to try. Um, I grabbed some of these tortillas to have. This is a... Doo -doo -doo. How many packs? How many are in here? I don't know. Ten. Ten flour tortillas. You can make sandwiches, little pinwheel sandwiches. Also got some smoked provolone cheese. Y'all, I'm just trying to get through this haul. <laughs> Here's one more of the chili things. And... Again, I got two packets of the Jiffy Cornbread. Those are good. I got two cans of sweet peas. Grab some sweet peas. I already have some canned goods. I got corn and green beans, but I needed some sweet peas. Here is another one of the cream cheeses. I grabbed two of those. And of course, I grabbed the bread. I got some just white sliced bread. And then I got some honey wheat bread. And I'll put these in the freezer just to keep them good until we actually use them. Um, but we're using them pretty fast when people make sandwiches because the boys make two sandwiches each. It's a lot of bread. Grab another container of eggs because we're almost out and we're going through these because everybody's eating breakfast here in the morning. Egg sandwiches or things like that. So I picked that up. And I grabbed some cheddar cheese. Also, I'm not gonna pick it up, but I got a huge thing of cat litter. They were almost out of all cat litter. So I got cat litter and cat food. And that is my Kroger real quick haul. <laughs> I had to run, we were running low on things, especially meat to cook. I had nothing to cook tonight as far as meat wise. So now we're stocked a little bit more. So everyone, please stay in. Like they're saying, if you have to go out to go grocery shopping, just go and then come back. I can like try not to be out um, just so we can cut down on the transfer of germs um but i love you guys so much i hope everyone's staying safe i hope you enjoyed this video and it gives you something to watch um again stay tuned for all my other videos i will be doing a bread making video and um i don't know whatever else i decide to do oh i do have an empties video coming so stay tuned for that i'm trying to think of things that i can do around the house um while we are quarantined in the house or trying to be as much as we possibly can um yes so i love you guys so much i hope everyone is making the best of the situation y'all stay safe wash your hands and um you just get creative i did a puzzle yesterday just so y'all know i did a puzzle and i posted it on my instagram it's uh thrifty tiffany 35 but i did a puzzle that i got from dollar tree and I used Mod Podge and like glued it together. It's so pretty. Y'all want me to show y'all? Okay, I'm gonna show y'all. <laughs> okay, let me show you, hold on. Hold on, hold on, I'm here, I'm still here, I'm still here. <laughs> okay, so this is the puzzle. Yes, look, it is actually a puzzle. Y'all see that? Look how pretty, this is the box that it was from. This is the, um, it's a carousel and it's gorgeous. Look at the back. So all I did was take this Mod Podge that I got from Dollar Tree and then wiped it over the top with one of those staining brushes. But look how pretty I did her. I did it. And she's so pretty. So do puzzles. Uh, Dollar Tree has so many canvases and paint. Um, you can do art. Um, you can draw. You know, you got to get really creative here at this time. I have teenagers, so everything they're like, that's dumb. That's the, so I started doing it. I'm like, I will do a puzzle myself. I think it's so pretty. But um, yes, so I might do it. I, I want to find another one, but they last time I haven't seen this. I like this brand and I like the 100. When you go up in the numbers, I have a 300 one, which I'm going to try. The puzzle pieces get so small. And one time I started on one and got to the end and there was a missing puzzle piece. So yeah. And this is an old French carousel. So I love it. It's an old French carousel. I just think it's so cute. It gives you something. You can even frame this in a Dollar Tree frame. I believe it's like 11 by something. I don't know. Or 8 by. It's a little bigger than 8 by 10, I think. Um, but yes, I love you guys so much. And stay tuned for some of my other hauls. Hopefully, it'll keep your mind occupied. And at least think about something else for a little bit. Um, but I love you guys. Bye.